very place. good you're very good with uh, with public speaking i can tell i can only imagine times it was meshika how much but i get your story it's really nice tell me how, when was the first time you interacted with drugs and which was the first drug you interacted with it was in high school uh -huh. i was in form 3 uh -huh. and uh, it was marijuana marijuana yeah, we, the first drug you ever interacted with yeah, was marijuana nani nani aliku nini ilikufanya ukaichoma juu si ati si ati ulitembea ukaiokota you know curious to kill the cat yeah i found my friend and i sat him in class kamuliza hii nini kaniambia eh mjamaa ukitaka kujua si unipate jioni pale hivyo nyuma yacho kaambia sawa nakuja me i went Part 1 hiyo uh -huh. siku nikakaani kani mechizi kidogo uh -huh. lakini siku chizi the god uh -huh. then the journey ya uh, kutumia madrid kaanza so when uh -huh. you start one uh -huh. the cravings uh -huh. hii moja unaona haiwezi kutosheleza uh -huh. you go to another one uh -huh. so from from weed ni kind of to i think called uh, tobacco uh -huh. ama chavi so come uh -huh. down ndivyo inaitwa uh -huh. i went to jaba uh -huh. and uh, zikena tu hizo zikiongezeka zikiongezeka tu after jaba ukaenda up After Jaba kuna nyingine inaitwa Wada. Hizo tu ni maluga za huko mtaani. So I use those things uh -huh. and uh, to my life they were not uh, paving way. They were not paving the way. Yeah. Right, did you graduate high school? Yeah, I graduated. You graduated high school? Yeah, I graduated. Uh, still under the influence. Still under the influence. Uh -huh. Nikatoka huko nje hustle so I'm making my own money. Uh -huh. Now I can buy what I want. You can buy you can get any I high that you get want. Get any high that I want. All right. Yep. So uh what was this high for? Kuna watu wasema mimi na get high ndo ni sau shida zangu. Kuna watu wanasema nga mimi na get high ndo ni creative. Mimi na get high ndo uh, budangu anipe attention. Ni utushasikia hizo hadi Kenya saa hizi imefika. Uh, yako ilikuwa nini? Yangu for starters ilikuwa for fun. Uh -huh. Yeah. Ukianza. Nikianza ilikuwa for fun. All right. Is it any fun hapo mbele? Ya kuna fun hapo hivyo. Alright, uh, ukianza after... ulianza for fun. Hapo mbele hii fun ina tani na kwa nini? Inakuwa... What goes through your mind? Inakuwa addiction bana. Uh -huh. Inakuwa kitu kingine you can't get away from. Uh -huh. You can't do without it. Uh -huh. As in mingia kwa your blood streams as uh -huh. in ni kama food. Uh -huh. Well you can't do without food. Uh -huh. So na hiyo kitu iko tu hivyo you can't do without it. You can't do without it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, tell me your journey with drugs. What was the first drug you interacted with? Yango pia ilikuwa ndom. Uh, an experience yangu almost similar to his uh, mm -hmm. in the sense that he ends in high school mm -hmm. so from one at was in a private school mm -hmm. uko kwa tu babi babi tu yeah. rui ilikuwa kuhepa chuo unaona vitu kama hizo from 3 nikaenda high mm -hmm. now high was a public school day uh, mm -hmm. day school na uko sondo nikapata na warui wenyewe mm -hmm. And uh, now in a, in the private school like, we didn't atukwa in uh, as in I'd never known ndomi na kaji mm -hmm. and so me msetu um, fulani huko ni, ni mse mwenye actually to 8 ndio nilingia form 3 and it was uh -huh. just the year after post election violence mm -hmm. so unapata that first time unapata kukuwa na madaro mingi mamode ya wako so there was this guy akaitwa booster mm -hmm. So I got a new gene at one of the I hope you watch <laughs> and if you know Booster we won't say his his uh, ID name but okay uh, Booster uh -huh. ndio alin introduce kwa kwa ile weed uh -huh. and um, that very first feeling yenye ni have ya kuget high uh -huh. uh, kwangu ilikuwa inaweza sema ilikuwa scary uh -huh. sababu sikujua nini ili happen in afternoon uh -huh. cuz uh, tulikuwa ile ile pitch ya hockey uko hivyo and uh -huh. kufika hivi madaro nikaenda mimi nilikuwa 3G nikasikia nimeenda R <laughs> na nika black ya di 5 so ile kwa experience yenye yani mimi nilishtuka to was like ah hii stuff hii si kitu naweza tuka ku engage so the rest of high school si kwa uh, rudi story ya drugs anymore uh -huh. ili kuja tena sasa kampo uh -huh. now in 2010 uh -huh. uh, joined a uh, hospitality school uh -huh. and hiyo time pia nikawa nimeanza tu ile ile social drinking ya uh -huh. ile tu ya kujibamba on weekends uh -huh. and that time it was actually uh, naweza sema controlled I'm a responsible drinking wacha ni table uh -huh. because Uh, kama tuseme kifika ile time ya semester yenye uh, classes zimekuwa mom sana then your time una una, una uh, you wait for friday yeah uh -huh. but now what ile kitu ilifanya tip over from uh -huh. the social drinking uh -huh. to now irresponsible drinking uh -huh. was a broken relationship uh -huh. yeah so this so something that triggers zaizi vitu yeah that triggers uh -huh. kila msa kuna jani yake ya drug addiction mm, yeah uh -huh. exactly 
Uh-huh. And so for me yo that sababu ko koleni kwa nimeingia na zile hype mingi sana. Uh-huh. So kila msel kwa ananijua. Wa, you know? Wase wengi wengi ana hype mingi sana. Uh-huh. So you know my ule msel kwa na highlights ana julikana ule msel wa swag ni uh-huh. unaona. Uh-huh. Eh sasa vibe yake ama reputation yake ina uh-huh. change na kule msel aliachwa na demi yake unaona. Know? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So yo kitu ili really affect esteem yangu uh-huh. and uh, that's how I now got into my ile uh, drinking to like forget my problems you know. Uh-huh and hakuna swali tu muuliza chats na nikataka tu pia ni nichangie uh-huh. that road unajua inaanza ngas fun uh-huh. and i'll tell you because mimi nakumbuka nikiingia kampo eh hata kuna room yetu wangu tulikuwa tume print tulikuwa na tissues zinafanana uh-huh. za one of the alcohol brands uh-huh. so kila time tunaenda ku drink tunadunga hizo tisho uh-huh. so it was fun na mazili ilikuwa fun ba uh-huh. you know? na stories za asubuhi mnacheka nini ah, mlijimamba eh. ah. and that time again we see it was kind of responsible drinking see ati ule unakunywa muadhara sana ati hadi unasau sana so the, in a way it was fun Aha. na ni kitu yenyata uh, personally I would be okay to tell my my folks eh hey, leo by the way tuna bash flani tumeenda nini nini because at the end of the day ningejua it's responsible na kuna kitu ndio tungefanya you're going to class you're passing mm, your exams nini uh-huh. lakini the road hapo chini hiyo swali umuuliza ndio that's the main thing twenye tunafaongelea hapa uh-huh. that uko mbele uh-huh. uko mbele ni disaster all right so it, how, how how do you know like unajua je sasa hii i'm i'm not <laughs> nishapita speed flan Okay one thing and for me one indicator was that uh-huh. mabeste wako uh-huh. mabeste wako unapata tu vile mko hivi uh-huh. msa anakunywa wewe unakunywa mimi nakunywa lakini unapata mabeste wako anza kuambia eh mtu wangu mazee eh hey, mazee kuna vile kupunguza tu kiasi <laughs> si ati ni maholi jo unapata si ati ni wasi wa kukujudge not uh-huh. that they are judging you uh-huh. but wanaka rifi yako akwambia mazee And you also think as well. Yeah, 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 and all eh this <laughs> is not normal <laughs> thinking. Hey, anaangalia hivyo anaona mazee ume, umepoteza simu ngapi? Eh, for example, tu umepoteza simu simu ngapi in, in like one month? Uh-huh. Tu kama hizo. Eh darus kuizi hata unaanza kupata ma supplementary vitu kama hizo. Wapata uh-huh. tu best yako anza kwa bia. Ma signs tu moja moja. Eh, Aha. Uh-huh. Alafu pia home. Unajua vitu mingi zinaweza happen home best yako ajui. But uh-huh. home unapata kuna hizo mnaanza korofishana na na maparo ni hizo uh-huh. ndio hizo signs ya unaona uh-huh. because when it was responsible drinking i mean you are, you are conscious hautachelewa uh-huh. uh, home unaona uh-huh. kuna vile uko rada tu like uh-huh. you're taking care of your of your of your of your behavior of, your of behavior. the drinking yani uh-huh. uh-huh. your image as well you're taking yeah, care yeah. of your image But, yourself as a mm, person your mm, body yeah. and your image all But, right so hapo mbele unaanza ngatu kuona ma trigger 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 yeah uh-huh. na pia in terms of your choice of drinks uh-huh. unajua hiyo point unasema <laughs> taking care of image unajua kuna zile drinks zenye utajiweka class flani mimi nakunywanga hii lakini kwa addiction ah ni kitu yoyote yenye na kama kama Okay so <laughs> unaanza place hey, right All right ukajifana tu bei na shuka bei na shuka bei na shuka bei na shuka So those are some of the signs uh, mm. you know that you're going in, in the wrong path All yeah. right so uh, kuna fikanga music ya kuna fikanga points Now you start mixing the drugs Exactly Okay what makes somebody feel the need to now mix Unajua one thing about addiction ni ati inafika ngapo na pia tazas believer anaweza kushukiwa point ya addiction umekuwa empty ndani yako uh-huh. so hauna esteem you don't feel yani let me if i speak about myself ni kwa point yani nimekuwa tu kama zombie yani unaona so the more high the better the more things you experiment the better for you times zingine unaingia tu kwa zogo ndio upigwe at least at least msikie usikie uchungu usikie ni mtu unaona because by the time we have addiction wasa watakangi stories like you know the, the number one umekuwa mse not useful uh-huh. as a friend you don't trust me uh-huh. so eh uh, i'm i'm not me me si mse mwenye unaweza ni i can't count on you yeah, as a person i can't, you, no. I can't trust you with my Bas. my money i can't Bas. trust you with my uko tu na mimi tu for so na kiangu all right eh so what guys was in happen all right uh i'd like to know uh kwa hii jani yako ya ya addiction ilifikaje point ukasema wow it's too much mm-hmm. i need to, i need to find help na ulijiambia ama ni mse alikupeleka well it was a process because uh-huh. when i started nilikuwa nafanya ma job job uh-huh. so i was making money uh-huh. moving out of home uh, and now starting experiencing life out uh-huh. there uh-huh. but now the high life ikaanza saa kudidimia aha uh-huh because the more you're using these things the more you're not also productive aha uh-huh. no. and the money becomes less and when you're money, less productive yeah and the money becomes less the more you're less productive uh-huh. so did the jobs unajipata unafanya uh-huh. hey bana it is hard work 
but let's pay. Uh-huh. Yeah. Say so, sweat for this little cash. Sweat for this little cash. Uh-huh. Na bado utaenda ku spend na madre. Okay. Yeah. Ukajuaje sahi sasa ni kuba mm. I need help. What happened? Uh-huh. It's my mom. Uh-huh. Yeah, ile nililia sana. So after I've shifted from Ulkuna home. Ishinae. Yeah, nilikuwa naishi na yeye alafu sasa nimehama. Uh-huh. Yeah, sasa nimeenda ku experience hii life huko nje. Uh-huh. Mm. So after 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 yeah, alikuwa na follow up jani yangu, alikuwa anatuma bro, kana kam, kana snoop. Eh kana kama kana ona eh umjama wetu bana. Eh eh uko sawa. Aendi poa. Anapeleka for one one. Eh. Wewe una line to bro kama kumkuta bana. Ah yeah toba. Kumbe madhe ametuma tu. Eh bana. But it was good. It was good for them because uh-huh. it helped me a lot uh-huh. big time. Yeah. I see, I see. So when 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 mom now had that my life is at rock bottom uh-huh. eh hey, akaona hapana. So kijana ni mimi namwendea. So she came akanipata niko jobo zile njumu nimevaa man hako na expect ni naweza kuwa niko hivyo uh-huh. njuni niko jobo at kiatu inache uh-huh. inacheka you can't even afford kuna job gani your your time your time ilikuwa do job sat wa hoteli eh uh-huh. uh, to to small scale business eh uh-huh. mm. uh-huh. mm. so that sh- for you to get the high for me to get the high i'm not even getting food for my own wow nile tu naweza kulipa rent na kina bro wako ana stay tu poa na mother mta ana stay tu fit na mother Eh yeah, that's how Na nini inafanya nini inafanya awezi rudi home? Ni aibu ni nini? Aibu. Uh-huh. In fact that aibu ndio the better word for it. You feel some shame. Yeah, yeah you feel shame when you when you're home sa kufanya. As in how how are these people uh, perceiving you? Wow. Eh. Yeah. Steve. <laughs> mm. Back to you my brother. Mm-hmm. Uh, how did you get to that point of going to rehab? I'd like to know cuz e e tipping point e at least he alikuwa na wase alikuwa na madhake alimsaidia how did you get to that point of going to the rear uh, okay for me tuseme nili hit rock bottom my uh-huh. rock bottom yani is as the lowest point of my life uh-huh. nilikuwa kuchujua kole uh-huh. because by the time sasa now you not longer 2012 we join kole 2010 uh-huh. 2011 dio sasa ni like ni manza hiyo first year umepita two feet ah first year ilikuwa fit kabisa second year umepita two feet bas 2012 fika kwa to like a very dark year uh-huh. very dark year cause that's actually what happened uh, my fresh wa lingia 2011 sasa uh-huh. ondo tulishikana as in uh-huh. sasa at least au niliona wanapea heshima fulani eh, at least second year uh-huh. as in kunele heshima tu fulani no at least tumsa kwa experience ya kampo uh-huh. so au ndio eh, au ndio wasinilishikana nao sana and again ikakuwa ngori sababu unajua story ya drinking mimi uh-huh. kamkona ama best ndo wa keep sasa hiyo rende yangu for example uh-huh. for me to be relevant ni ati ninunue drinks unaona uh-huh. otherwise siko relevant uh-huh. unaona uh-huh. i'm relevant only when i'm calling toxic friendship yeah eh unaona so the thing is so habit ka kwa tu hivyo kuiba vitu home kuuza so that uh, kind of nipate nipate do ya ku you know like finance to your drinking uh-huh. like kuweza kufanya tu bashi shiki unaona uh-huh. so ilendelee hivyo ilendelee hivyo relationships homes imekuwa destroyed kabisa uh-huh. and uh, the only thing that no idea of feeling tu wenye una feel unachukiwa home una feel like the black sheep uh-huh. now that, that that was something yenye milk kuna nieka down sana so uh-huh. niko chuo yes but kwa tu zile najua ah mtani asa wanitaki unaona uh-huh. kuna depression flani mm. uh-huh. so uh, at least nilikuwa na hostel your uh-huh. time and uh, now ile point ilikuwa lowest kabisa was that one fateful day tulishikwa tukivuta ndom uh, kwa premises za chuo uh-huh. na by this time nilikuwa nisha yani nilikuwa nimefanya blunder mingi chuo uh-huh. and this one I was sure it kwa tushwa tunaenda home uh-huh. you know my mom is a staff is a member of staff kwa hiyo kole nilikuwa so hizo ngori zingine nilikuwa na seven matters was yeah so this one hii ilikuwa noma and so like two weeks later tukapatiwa barua za suspension unajua kole suspension ni one year So for me that was the lowest point because it meant going back to a home where I feel like the black sheep. And so yo ilikuwa 19 September uh, 2012. Okay 19th is actually the day nilienda rehab. So two weeks ndio nilikuwa nime suspendiwa. Those two weeks nilikuwa home. It was yani ilikuwa tu tormenting kuka home siongei na mtu. Yo time diet yangu kuna boy flani stone kwa mumomba toaster. Mm. Yeye alikuwa afikiria naomba tu hiyo asubuhi moja nirudishe but nilitumia shango jamaa si anirudishie sada yeti ilikuwa tu mkate bibi bibi unaona toaster eh, after hiyo session nyingine ya ndom as isayo ndio ilikuwa tu diet yangu for like two weeks and so one day wasao kanikamia kwa hao eh, nikaambiwa niaje napelekwa counseling ilikuwa asubuhi kabisa kaambiwa relax wewe hata kitanda usitandike hata breakfast kunywe tunarudi tu sai sai so that was my dad alileta tu asifulani kwa hao wakaniambia naenda counseling 
and, and by that time I was, I was already seeing like two psychologists uh -huh. uh, moja kwa Kenyatta mwingine High Ridge uh -huh. so eh so na counseling nini nini and one of these doctors al come in tajestory rehab eh sayo asubuhi na shanga eh kivipi asubuhi hivi Yeah, so even eh hey, ndo alini kama wali wazini wali trick tu wali trick tukaingia kwa ndai so you guys were lucky to have parents who cared about you yeah, yeah, yeah. na waka come back for you guys when you guys hit hey, rock bottom point two sure yes. kabisa ile love ya wazazi uh -huh. was key was key kabisa hapa hivi mm. leo ni world international day against drug abuse yeah. what is triumph ministry doing to commemorate this day okay on this day uh, we are just kind of doing an online uh, campaign just an mm -hmm. awareness Uh, because UN may put forward uh, a message which, which is better knowledge for better care mm -hmm. so for us just uh, giving out uh, some naweza sema tu information to which mm -hmm. you think can be can be helpful mm -hmm. kama hiyo point tunasema wazazi mm -hmm. sema, since strength ministry was birthed that has been a main uh, foundation of mm -hmm. connection ministry. with the family yeah, yeah. All right. What message are you giving to the people? The people who are watching right now and uh, maybe are dealing with drug drug addiction. Uh I'm a brother yake akona ako addicted to drugs. So I maybe mean, ashamed of brother yake. Je, yeah. I'm connected at an brother yake aje anymore. What message could you give to a drug addict? Uh we pay a message to a drug addict. We pay a message to family one issue a drug addict. Tuanze na wewe. Okay. Uh my message to you. Mhm. Mm I tell you upendo tu can win this man mm -hmm. like Christ through his through God's love he mm -hmm. gave us his son mm -hmm. that we may have life mm -hmm. eternal say matter na disease because mm -hmm. we 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 term this drug as a disease it is shall kuingia ni ugonjwa to do away with it has to have medicine ya mm -hmm. kusaidia for me my medicine was Christ mm -hmm. and the love of family so mean to show upendo onesha that guy upendo and it shall upendo. be well So it seemed you, it seems you talked to the people who are living uh, with a drug addict. So you will talk to the drug addicts as we wrap this up. Yeah, so to to the drug addict, uh, there's a short film I did in it to what they did not tell me. Kwa hiyo mm. kwa hiyo film, I'm just talking about our say wenye tunaita our influencers uh, or maybe those role models wenye anatuonesha labda kukunywa ndio the fun way of mm. life. Kuchoma. Yeah, kuchoma. I just mm. want to tell you your life in a lead to destruction. Uh, we are here. You know me uh, personally I didn't have someone like me akuze kukamkuniambia hizi story but for me it's a privilege uh, that i'm here to just share my life uh, the thing is your path you know in life you know there are two paths you can just choose the path of sobriety and by it's a more sure way and you are, you, are, you are guaranteed of certain promises to in life and there is the path ambayo unaweza chukua drugs it can be fun for one year two years probably even 10 years but you never know ni nini ita, ita change na ikupeleke into addiction And so many as I can encourage to stay triumphant focus on your goals that's the best thing you can do and social media social media is uh, at triumph and geo which is on instagram twitter and facebook all right uh, personal yako since wewe ni msani chak charlie facebook chak charlie twitter chak charlie instagram uh, films zako utapata vipi Uh, it's still on the on the on the on the YouTube channel now you can search Triumph Limited so Triumph Limited is where we do our film productions both on YouTube and on Vimeo All right thank you very much for taking your time uh, to come have this conversation with us I never even knew today is world what again international, international drug against <laughs> drugs yes thank you very much for celebrating this with us and uh, remember true power comes from uh, yani yo 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 ku, ku kwa na control over yourself kitu kingine si kucontrol uh, kama ni pombe na kucontrol you have not attained true power yet true power ina kama kwa kuji control we mwenyewe na kujijua let's head straight to a commercial break then we'll be back with some more of social friday don't go nowhere